Huh? What's this? A use for old VCRs? Yes, uh, there actually uh, is a use for them. If you simply take one of the motors on it, like one you can control like this, and put that through a bridge rectifier, and then straight into a bank of caps, or a large cap, you can charge up a little circuit here, and get an LED to glow, or several. I mean, you can make a flashlight with just that. I mean, look, a use for VCR. So yeah, uh, if you want to make your own little uh, flashlight you can charge, uh, it's super simple. Again, like I said, it's just the uh, output of the motor, which is uh, AC, goes through a bridge rectifier, which makes it DC. Sorry, it looks so messy. It's held together by magic there. And then goes straight into some caps through a switch, which has both a mode that will short it out to drain it, an off, and an LED on. But I just shorted it, so you can't see anything. Let's zoom in and show that in action. So we'll charge it up and turn it on. Look at that. That nice little glowing LED. And uh, I mean, it's fairly bright. It's not extreme, but it uh, does work well. Let's kind of compare again, short out the supply. We're gonna turn off the lights, the exposure is locked. So that's exactly how dark it is with the same exposure. That's just about four or five little plunk. And then there you go. You can watch it dim out slowly, but hey, it does in fact work. Away it goes. And if you continue moving it while it's on, you know, you can use it and charge it. And then it'll dim out. Uh... And yeah, I mean, uh... You could put a, uh, higher, a higher value resistor on there and try to uh, prolong it with the uh, sacrifice of your LED being dimmer. But hey, you know, it does work. So the bank is just a partial of my uh, capacitor charger dumper video I did previously. Link is here. Just click on the capacitors and see that video. But uh, again, it's very small. And so what uh, I can do as a future experiment is take out the motor, put some form of crank on it. We could tear out the parts from this power supply and make a good little flashlight. Because all you need with one of these large caps, uh, this one's extremely high value, but it's 25 volt. So you'd either have to uh, make sure your motor's not giving you transients that are that crazy. Or you can do this one, which is about the same value as all those right there. It's uh, 6,800 uh, 6, mic. Uh, and that's uh, 400, uh, 470 mic times how many caps are there. Um, and then you can even take one of these bridge rectifiers off and uh, you'd be good to go. I mean, that's really compact and this board weighs very little and since all the weight is the heat sinks, the individual caps don't weigh anything at all. So yeah, uh, maybe the future video will show my little uh, flashlight you can charge by moving something. So let's uh, give one last little look into this.